Henshaws, life hacks, supporting people with sight loss and a range of other disabilities to go beyond expectations. Welcome back to Henshaws Life Hacks, our tips, tricks and tech. Today we're in the kitchen, but first of all, I want to talk to you about my t-shirt. I've not got my big blazing t-shirt on today, so I'm not sure about how Martin is going to feel about that, but I have got a Henshaws badge. So anyway, yes, we're in the kitchen and we're going to talk about some stuff that happens in the kitchen. Um, if you're interested in kitchen skills, we've got plenty of videos. So if you click on the links that are bouncing around my head at the moment, off you go. Yeah, click on them. But today we're going to talk about just a little bit about knives and then we're just going to talk a little bit about contrast. We talked about contrast before and we're going to talk about it today again because it's really important. Okay, so uh, first thing about knives is uh, be organized. So a drawer of knives, like mine in there, isn't that organized. Then you can kind of get your hands in there and get cut quite quick. Um, so my knives are on a magnetic block, but you can get wooden blocks where you slide the knife in and out. Sometimes that's a little bit awkward, so I like a magnetic block. Um, the most important thing about any knife is that it needs to be sharp because a blunt knife is just as dangerous as a sharp knife that's not used correctly. Um, we're not going to get into knife skills today because um, that's an old different ball game and that's a whole different video. Um, but sharp knife is really important. So contrast. We want to just talk a little bit about contrast because contrast in the kitchen with foods is going to make it and that little buzzing sound is, this is a real kitchen by the way, that's my bread maker, right? So apologies if you hear this little grinding. And I need to get through this video really quick because that's going to speed up in a minute, right? So, um, here's an avocado. It's quite dark and it's quite difficult to see if you put it on a black background, right? So if it's difficult to see, it's going to be difficult to cut. But if you put that avocado on a white background, it's dead easy to see, yeah? So then, a lot easier to cut. And we can keep going with that. So there's a yellow banana on a red background. There's a red pepper on a white background. So you can just keep going with that, but that's what it's all about. It's about contrast and it's making everything safer. So listen, if you enjoyed this tip, please let us know. Um, if you've got any other tips similar to this, please let us know. And do us a favour, if you did like this, pass it over, pass it on, and subscribe, because it will help us create more videos. So, I'll uh, see you next time.